Hey guys, welcome to the 99th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the tree view control. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a tree view. So, just go over to your toolbox and drag a tree view over to your form. I'm going to make it pretty big here, and you'll see why. Alright, so this is a tree view. Like, as you can see, there's like an item, and then this item has sub-items, and that divides into sub-items, and I'm sure you've seen these before. I just wanted to make sure that you know what it is before we get into it. So, the first thing that we're going to look into is adding nodes. That's what they're actually called. These little, those things right there, that's a node. So, in order to add one of those, we're first just going to double-click on button 1. So, we're just going to type the name of our tree view. I called mine just tree view 1. That's just the default name for it. Dot, and then you want to do dot nodes, the nodes property, and then you're going to want to use the add method to add a node. And this will just add it into the root of the tree node, so or the tree view. So it would be like at the top right here, there would be no like sub items for it. So we're just going to give a name to it. I'm just going to call it person or people actually. People. So now when you debug here, click button one, you should see that a node will appear at the top. Yep, and currently there are no sub items for this node. There's only this this node right here. So if we wanted to add more than one node in the root of our tree view, we would just copy this code again and just name it something different. I'm going to call it um, animals, I guess. So now we need to debug here and click this button. We should now have two uh, tree nodes or two nodes in the root of our tree view. Yep, we now have people and animals. Now I'm going to show you how to add like sub items for this. So under people, we want to have people's names like Adam, Bob, and Joe, and we'll do that. So we're going to put tree view one again. Uh, nodes use the nodes property. Only this time we're going to treat it like an array, and this array will basically be the two nodes that we have. So currently we'll have people and animals, and we're going to try and access the um, people one. So we're going to put 0 right here, since the first node is a 0, the second is a 1, and so on, just like an array. So we'll put 0 in here, and then this is just like another node. So we can do dot nodes dot add, and then we can just add another node inside of um, this people node right here. So I'll just add Adam. So now when we debug right here and click this button, we should have uh, people and animals, and underneath people we should have a node called Adam. Yep, and if we wanted to add more, we would just repeat the same process. I'll just copy this code right here. And now we're just going to change the text of this, so if we want to have Bob and Joe. So now underneath um, people, we'll have Adam, Bob, and Joe. And again, this zero right here, this represents the node that you're adding them to. So we want to add it to people, so it's zero since it's the top. Now if you wanted to add, um, nodes to Adam, you would put a 1 inside of here. So add another one. We will add a 1 because it's going to be animals. We'll just do dot nodes. The add method to add another one. And we'll just add, I guess say dog, and we'll add another one for cat. So now under animals we have dog and cat, and under people we have Adam, Bob, and Joe. This is basically just an endless cycle. So if we wanted to add, um, let's say, another node inside of cat or dog, like say we wanted to have list names inside of this dog node right here, we could do that. So we would do um, tree view one dot nodes, and then since we're accessing um, the node under animals, we would do one here, and then we would do nodes again, and then we want to access dog. So we put a zero right here since dog is the first one under animals. And then we would do dot nodes dot add and then just add a dog name under there like spot. So now when we debug, add them all. Under animals we should have dog and cat and under dog we should have spot. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on adding nodes to a tree view. So see you guys.